I'm sorry, I just went to an and hyping concert. Did, did y'all know that? Did y'all know? Sorry, I didn't think y'all knew yet. What is good, everyone? Hey, bitch. Don't call them that. What's up, oh. whores? First of all, is this the You're first a trashy episode hoe. where we're actually dressed up? Like, we, we're trying today? Yeah, let's... This is my outfit. <laughs> <laughs> outfit check. No is that way. Intoc? Is that is that fucking Keo? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do I look like? Is that AJ Raphael? <laughs> Before we start, oh my god, I saw you guys at the freaking N Hyphen concert. Nurse patient over here couldn't come. Y'all would come up to me like, oh my god, are you Asian Glow guy? And I was like, yep, the name is Clarence. <laughs> One person literally yeah. goes, oh, where's the other bitch? <laughs> and I was like, I don't know who loves me. <laughs> Sorry, I'm an anti-romantic. Yeah. Clarence Angelo. Change my answering machine. <laughs> <laughs> Alcheska. And welcome back to Asian Glow Podcast episode six. Six. Because I'm so sick, sick of, of love songs. <laughs> Today, we are talking about love, love. and dating or lack thereof. There's one single bitch here and one taken bitch there. And together we are Bang Tan Son Yun <laughs> That ain't Bang Tan Son Yun Dong, that's Song Tan Bon Yun Dong. <laughs> shall we? We shall. I had my first date, okay. sophomore year of high school. I went to go see a theater show. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I like walk into our high school theater department whatever he was already sitting there we're watching the show and he was like Ugh! he was like getting closer to me <laughs> and i was just so awkward and nervous damn fuck is he gonna like hold my hand i have like chronically sweaty hands <laughs> like, the like limit that i would let like be close was like this on the singular armchair no <laughs> and so it gets to intermission and the intermission's like five ten minutes and so i'm just checking my phone out of nervousness oh my god i need something to zoom like yeah. he's gonna think i'm fucking weird and so he turns to me and he's like why do you keep checking your phone am i not entertaining enough <gasps> at least he's direct no Holy but it was fuck, like that it would was, kill me but okay thanks but i think he meant it in like <laughs> i know that's oh, like like, a, it, like, like yeah like yeah. he was like what are you doing he like, was like raising yeah, yeah okay. kind of i've never had like this interaction with a boy yeah <laughs> other than wattpad busted yeah. bitch <laughs> i was like <laughs> <laughs> bitch i was <laughs> busted. i literally go oh my god yeah <laughs> I get back on my phone. Yeah. Cause I'm like, fuck, I fucked that up so bad. Still looking at me. Yeah. Cause he's probably like, did she just call me like boring? Yeah. And then he's still looking at me and I get a notification It's in, and it's from Snapchat. And I yeah. like, I click it. I click it um, like so fast. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, yeah, there's something to do. So he doesn't think that I'm like purposefully ignoring him. And so it's from a girl. I didn't really know her. I just added her on Snapchat because we like sat next to each other in class. And I was like, <laughs> okay, slay, yes. Maybe she just like has a question about like the homework or like, I was just happy that I had okay, finally yeah, yeah, something yeah. to do. Open Snapchat and he's still looking at me. Mm -hmm. And he's probably like looking like at my phone to see what I'm doing. I open it, boom. It's a nude. <laughs> no fucking way. Yes, fucking way. From a girl? Yes! <laughs> and I, I have never gotten a nude. You got a titty big? <laughs> no, in the yes. Of a theater show? <laughs> boom, a nude. Boom, boobs. <laughs> no, boobs. And so I'm really like, I'm like, what the fuck? You know on Snapchat when you open a snap, you have to click on it again yeah. to exit out of it. I click on it. Another nude! <laughs> this Double it. the left hit this time. I turned to look at him to see if he saw. No. My man was fighting in the boys group chat. <laughs> he was there like and turns away. I was like, what the fuck just happened? How I knew that he saw. He removed his arm from the armchair that we were sharing. Holy shit, I don't blame him. What the fuck? <laughs> it wasn't my 
my fault. It wasn't, but imagine. <laughs> no, okay. The first that's day. What, that's what I'm saying. We like walk out of the theater together and my mom is already here. Yeah. So I'm like, shit, I have to go. I can't, I don't have time to explain myself because my parents don't know I'm here like, with, with a boy. Man, yeah. So they're probably like, oh, she's just going to get up and leave. But he just awkwardly like side hugs me. Yeah. And he said like, I support gay girls. Yeah. <laughs> She literally, she messes me. She goes, oh my God, sorry. That was it. <laughs> I need to pee. <laughs> there was this girl that I really wanted to like impress Aww. at church. <laughs> I was trying to raise her up. <laughs> we were, we went on like a little, you know, weekend trip or whatever, like field trip. Oh, because like of a, church. Yeah, it was like the youth church. A little mission stuff. trip. You know, you know how it'd be back then. Yeah. They're like, hey, let's go to Six Flags and like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like. Trying to get. Boom, kids. Jesus on the fucking Goliath. <laughs> like, this girl, <laughs> she liked country music and country music only. It's because on the way, when country music came on, mm -hmm. she would be singing. And I was like, oh words. shit, like now I need to know country music. Yeah, country music was her So BTS. I learned. Every single fucking country top 100 song on Billboard. <laughs> <laughs> but I added it all to a playlist. Yeah. Country music isn't that bad because Mason Ramsey fucking. Oh smashed. my god, Mason Ramsey. <laughs> really kid. Fast forward to college, I joined a business frat. The business frat is like a co ed, boys and girls, mm -hmm. like organization that you can join. It's like basically just like business kids. In the middle of recruiting for this business frat, you have to get like interviewed, all that shit, right? Um, I got in. One of the things you have to share. <laughs> 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 with the fucking pledge class like the group that you join with is your spotify link so everyone can fucking add you people are gonna see that i like listen to khalid i listen to keshia yeah. let me keshify these white people i went to school in indiana so very much white people the whopping three other asians mm -hmm. i was like why aren't they talking to me like i was like shit what? i i think i consider myself cool in mm -hmm. this in this school like i yeah. get good grades like yeah, blah, blah. Yeah. i become friends with them after two months we were asking shit like what's our what was everyone's first impression of yeah, one another uh -huh. and i was like i thought y'all didn't like me as an asian so mm -hmm. i was like i felt like low-key excluded yeah and they're like dude it's because we thought you were a yeehaw asian <laughs> and i was like what made you fucking think that yeah. and they're like well we know you're from texas and yeah. then we we saw your spotify and we saw that you had a playlist called country bobkin <laughs> that was the name country bobkin bobkin like bob that's i wasn't even accepted steered into you away from all of yeah the there isn't even that many to choose from and they still didn't want to be friends with me like what the <laughs> fuck do you know the one about fried casey chicken? musker oh <laughs> Oh, yes. Chicken yes. Oh, right. <laughs> that was on the fucking playlist. That's Don't bully us. Growing Listen up in Texas to that fucking like. song. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, millennial. Growing up in Texas, be like me when I'm. <laughs> Dude, I love millennial slander. It's the Texas for me. <laughs> Millennials are like, I just uncovered this meme, and the meme is Pepe the Frog. <laughs> I'm like, it's, it's like the dog, the dog meme. They're like, let me put you guys on this meme. Keep calm and <laughs> Now, what's the most embarrassing shit you've ever done to impress your crush? I don't know if I... Oh. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be putting fucking... I put, I put pictures of them on the back of my phone case. It took a minute to play. The way that you would listen to, like, country music, I would, like, binge listen to, like, musicals. Yeah. <laughs> So your type was theater kids? No, not really. It was just because I was in choir. Yeah, since it was your circle. School. Would you well, sing better if a cute guy was in? Oh class? yeah! <laughs> I, fucking, I fucking knew it. No, no, no. Oh my god! Don't Shit. tell me. <laughs> <laughs> just did it, but boom. Like my friend's gay, mm -hmm. and his first kiss was this girl in middle school, and she's lesbian now. Mm -hmm. And he, <laughs> the way that he was explaining it to me was, <laughs> he goes, he goes, dude, I. My first kiss was with a freaking girl, and uh -huh. now she's lesbian, and I'm gay now. We were literally like, we went. Mm, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking dying. Um, speaking of, okay, this was literally a question I had for later, but we have to talk about it now because we're literally talking about it. Okay. When talking to a guy or girl, what are your red flag or green flag artists like that they listen to? Okay, well, let's start with green flags. Green flags. <laughs> Keshi. Ah! If they listen to the cashier, I'm like, shit, they got raised. No. You know, my number one red flag is, is Keshi. Keshi. 
You're fucking lying. <laughs> but that probably means you're toxic as fuck. Yes! That's oh, that's a red flag. God, I don't have that issues. That is a but red I, flag. That's not me saying I got issues. That they, you know what's so fucking Keshi's annoying? Keshi's gay. You listen to Keshi. <laughs> when I was there, when I was a freshman. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I had you on Spotify. Spirit, so I was listening to Country Bubkin. You're listening to Keshi emo songs. <laughs> you know, uh, you know what? I listen to Keshi first and then everyone hopped on my shit. Oh, you listen to Keshi first. <laughs> You were a fuckboy before everyone else was a fuckboy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Absolute red flag, Travis Scott. Whoa, really? You can listen to Travis Scott, but the red flag for me is if you identify as a Travis Scott fan. Actually, actually, yeah. Holy fuck. Yellow, yellow flag, flag. Pentatonics. <laughs> what? Well, obviously not the same because I bet you when I say green flag, you'd be like, glee cast. <laughs> No, that is a red flag, almost brown, <laughs> by how red it is. If someone so li listens to BTS, actually that's low-key a yellow flag. Because it can go really? either way. But usually for me, it's like a green flag. I think for me, it's a green flag. Oh, red flag, Fifth Harmony. <laughs> for me, a big green flag is if someone listens to jazz, like actually. Really? Yeah, oh that's my God, sweet. Kim that's Help, God. Green, green flag, flag. Nikki. 88 Rising Nikki. Yes. Oh, green flag, P1 Harmony. Oh, yeah. Actually, like, no question, P1 Harmony, green flag. Green flag, Miss crowd. Miss Grande. Fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah. also rainbow flag. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to give EDM kids a chance. Yeah. They just want to They're like, this song time. This song reminded me of you. Era, era. Okay. like, I want this song to play at my wedding. Girl, what? Yeah, when you're walking down the aisle. <laughs> Steve Aoki's throwing cake. <laughs> Recently, I got a haircut um, yes. last week. I got a haircut, and I go to Asian hair salon. In H Mart, actually, the one in H Mart. <gasps> My brother goes to that and one. You, first Red of all, flag. you have to fucking... <laughs> You go to Asian hair salon? Yeah. Every time I go to the Asian hair salon, though, I'm, like, kind of nervous because the peak fucking compliment that you get at an Asian hair salon mm -hmm. is if you have an Asian hair so uh stylist that's yeah. a woman and they ask like hey like how old are you like are you oh, single oh really because oh, they want to set you up with their kid wait that's so true that's the fucking best that's dude so true. i don't know what that is maybe it's me seeking asian parent validation but like holy fuck and if she doesn't think that i'm fit enough for her daughter then life's not worth living bro. oh my God. but then she'll also do better on your hair if she oh thinks, that's true yeah! oh my god she's like dude, can i take a picture shit. of your hair I, the fucking i was talking about this with my friends and they're like dude yeah like that's the peak compliment. That's true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> also, I have this gut feeling that a lot of us haven't done shit. You know how Erica, we talked about her. We love you, bitch. Yeah. We love this I bitch. I love Erica. She's like, I haven't done shit. And I was like, honestly, like for me, I feel like I haven't done that mm -hmm. much shit. What's going on? Yeah. Standards too high? Probably. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's. <laughs> Why have I not had sex before? K-pop. <laughs> I'm so Why have I not had sex before? Because this is on the bed. <laughs> this whole card. <laughs> You're reaching for a condom. It's in one of those like photo card slips <laughs> that you mail back in. <laughs> Welcome so back from so the break. This part of the podcast is a segment we like to call Asian's Answer. answer. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Asians answer. In this part of the podcast, we answer your questions that you send us on Spotify and Instagram. So let's get to it. Let's care. Have you ever changed your personality based on the person you dated? I, I was like, maybe I should be a gym rat. For a brief second. Do I look like? <laughs> For a brief second. I was like, oh my God, what if I like start playing games? <laughs> <laughs> you were going to become a gamer girl? I, I thought about it. The answer is no. Kind of. You do it a lot when you're younger. Yeah. But like, don't get me fucking wrong. If Park Jimin, <laughs> if Park Jimin's like, I like people who are fucking bald, hair, you'll see me in the H Mart salon tomorrow. Yeah. And then I'll look over to the right and the chair next to me, she's bald. <laughs> and I'll be like, what the fuck? I think like Jin. <laughs> what is your limit on PDA? I am saying this oh because- Oh my God. I'm bringing this Public up because- Public display of affection. There is a limit, guys. POV, you see a couple at the amusement park. <laughs> and they're like- POV, you're in line for boba. Yeah. And the person's like, Gucci, Gucci. I just want a little taro boba. Shut the fuck. In the line at the, at like six flag or some shit, the girl's like sitting like on, on the, the rail. rail. <laughs> Hell. And like, 
and the guy's like in between her legs and they're just like and the line's fucking moving like am I sour or is that just fucking gross no it's fucking disgusting <laughs> like guys that rail that, that rail is not has the rail been, where yeah you can, can rail, rail somewhere else <laughs> We need to spend time with other people. (laughs) But roller coaster sex? (gasps) Who? I'm kidding. Just, when you're gonna be a fucking POV, POV, you ask the, your your man's like, I'm gonna take you for a ride. He takes you to Six Flags. <laughs> Next question is, mm-hmm. you know how we always say like the bar is in hell. Yes. What is the actual bare minimum for you? Like the actual bare minimum in a relationship. My friends are literally like, he doesn't kill me. I'm like, Jesus Damn. Christ, that's, your, that's not even hell. Yeah, that's whatever the Satan's anus, the devil's crap. <laughs> And if I'm in a relationship with someone, my bare, <laughs> bare minimum, we communicate at least once a day. And that doesn't even have to be like we talk. It could be like, I'm getting groceries. Because I get it. Like, after the honeymoon phase, when you live together, it's like, okay, bitch, we got to pay the bills together. We gotta yeah, yeah. Them. If we talk like, hey, I'm going to get groceries. Slay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's God, that reminds me of those, like, the TikToks that some of those girls make. Like, not texting my boyfriend to see, like, if he'll text me yeah. first. And they don't? And then they go, like three four days without like oh shit yeah and i'm like oh my god yeah. so i think we have the same like you communicate just talk. or i don't know respect if we ever get in an argument where you're yelling no i don't do yelling that's over i'm done i don't do yelling like what is something someone wears and you're like oh shit <laughs> like you're hot you just or like hotter. yeah yeah like oh they they fucking know what they're doing all but- fucking black Good heavens, dude! <laughs> if they're wearing all black, shit, shit. <sighs> really? Not the. C- oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I know what mine is. Whoa, what? A tote bag. <laughs> and like cargo pants. <laughs> Girl, that's a gay man. Why <laughs> you like gay boys? <laughs> but like, if, if it's, no, if it's, it's a man wearing a tote bag, I'm like, oh my god. Cross bag. Yeah. Then I'm like, oh, you like a cross bag? <laughs> It's like a picture the, of me in a cross bag. The time. Riz. <laughs> oh my god. Or. Oh my god. Favorite Asian meme? Keep it a secret. <laughs> hey, keep it a secret. <laughs> I bet you think that guy's hot. Yeah. <laughs> Do you care about, like, a guy, shoe I game? Think, I think a shoe can step up your fucking look. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wearing a shoe, for mm-hmm. example, Air Forces. Yeah. Do you think it's more attractive when a when someone has clean forces or dirty forces, or do you not care? I don't think I care. I don't think I care either. But like, I think it's actually a little bit more of a ugh if you have super clean, clean ones. ones, right? Because then I'm like, you're like, it's giving the energy that you know those, those you guys like who don't want to crease shit. Yeah, you put the shoes like on a yeah. stool. It's like oh, you don't want to crease shit. Like right? you're probably an arc. What is a skill? That unintentionally gives you the ick. Everyone's heard. Everyone's heard of. He can either bowl or he can. Yes. He can fuck. Yes. They're either good at sex or they're good at blank. Oh 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 oh! I got one. I got what? one. I got one. Oh my god! If you're trying really hard and just dance, or if you're good at wee sports boxing. Or. <laughs> What is that game at arcades, like Dance Dance Revolution, where the guy's going so hard and his date is just like standing there like... <laughs> if you're good at Dance Dance Revolution, that's a little... <laughs> you're, ooh, you're like ooh. holding onto the bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys were like... I'm like, oh shit. And then the date is just like holding a stuffed animal like... <laughs> you gotta go, dude. Dave and Buster's closed two hours ago. The H Mart Dance Dance Revolution machine... They're asking us to leave. <laughs> it's on fire. <laughs> If you're playing an arcade game and they're like going way too hard at it, yeah, like Street Fighter, but they're beating your shit. Or like, like I'm taking that shit personally. <laughs> Another thing is, do you know the game where it's like a wooden stick and it's like a red ball? It's and it's like, on a string. Yeah, <laughs> it's like kendama or some shit. That was so. Look, if they're good at that shit. Then I'm like, damn, they're focusing on the wrong ball. <laughs> This is not what I meant when I said yeah, what I a- want to play with your stick. <laughs> <laughs> the wrong wood. Yeah, I get <laughs> I will say, people who can do Rubik's Cubes, good heavens! Uh, legs! <laughs> <laughs> My god. Fucking Stand saw up. that Rubik's Cube and then. <laughs> 
You think Rubik's cubes people can? No. What? No. I thought. I think. I think my people need to advocate for me. Absolutely. Because no, people, no, no. Rubik's Everyone listen cubes, to me. Rubik's cubes, boys. <laughs> Rubik's cubes, girls. Can get it. You know, in like Rubik's cube, like you can get like a. You try to solve it as fast as you can, and you get like a new time. Yeah. <laughs> you think that's how long the last in bed? <laughs> Two seconds. Yeah. Basically. But I get the ache from that with like cup stacking people. I think everyone does, gets the ache from the cup stacking. Are you able to talk about like dating, hooking up, sex with your Asian families, like mm -hmm. your cousins? Genuinely, yes. Wait, what? Yeah. Because that's so rare. Me and my friends. It is, it is very rare, but it's because my cousins are older than me. Oh, and so, so they, they were love the first, talking to me. Yeah, yeah, they were the first ones to talk to about it. Oh, I'm the older one. Okay, my cousins are pretty, like, yeah, they don't yeah, talk yeah. about that kind of stuff. I get, I get it, yeah. And so then I'm like, damn, like, I mean, that's like half the conversations I have with my friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, who you fucking like that? <laughs> but recently I have a cousin who's my age and like, like mm -hmm. she just literally hard launched her boyfriend like on Instagram. Wow. And so then I was like, <gasps> shit, oh, like, you got a man. Uh -huh. And she was like, yeah, so we talked about it, like whatever. And I was like, this is so nice to have a cousin that I can talk about this yeah, with. It is Because nice. I feel like it's definitely a point of, like bonding with one another it's like a very it good is. thing to talk about yeah. with people that you're blood related to yeah like because we talk about that we're super close so i'm, like, I'm closest with my cousins who right. i can talk about that with yeah because i'm like because that's, that's a form of trust yes yeah for a lot of us they don't have that relationship do intensive research on which cousin you think should you should bring it up with you have to be like somewhat close in age yeah because like yes. if you're in if you're close in age then you're like oh shit, we're going through the same yeah. shit. the cousin that's closest in age with you and their Instagram. You can tell a lot. Yeah. I am a little worried though because my cousin's in like the actual Philippines. I'm like, is it the same over there? With my cousins in the Philippines, then they'd have to they'd have to do some like bad shit over there for it to get to me. Yeah. To me in America. Yeah. Then I'd be like, oh, they're doing no. bad shit over there. We can talk. Yes! Yeah, yes! right. <laughs> the fucking rebel kid in the Philippines. My rebel yes! cousin. I stand them. My mom's yeah. like, this person's now dating someone who's like has tattoos all over them. Yeah, and I'm and like, I'm like ah! They have tattoos all over them? I know. Shit, that's so bad. Fucking Facebook messages. And I'm like, what, shit. What's at my fucking cousins? <laughs> I heard your man and your woman got tattoos. <laughs> shit. Anyways, thank you guys for listening. I think that's all we have for yeah. episode six. Yeah. Um, once again, thank you guys for saying hi at the End Hyping concert. We're going to be probably going to another thing, but I don't fucking know. I'm going to Etsy concert in Houston. Yeah, what so concert are y'all going to? We'll be there. Please leave a rating if you're listening to this on the audio or if you're watching this on Spotify or Apple Podcasts because I'd be going through that in tears because that shit's so Aww. nice. And also, like, it helps because I'm like, oh, what do we need to improve on? Very that cute. shit hits my heart to see. <laughs> End the episode. Yeah. We're gonna say bye like we normally do in our respective languages. Isa, Dalawa, Tatlo, Ingat. Peace. I was for the taking. Guess I needed a home. Drop the bass. Wah, wah, pop, pop, pop.